morning and welcome back. I'm here at Performance Locker with Casey Stutzman for another edition of Fitness Friday. So good morning, Casey. Morning, Ashley. How are you doing? Good. Thank you for being on today. My pleasure. So what are we doing today? Uh, this week I want to take a look at another really popular exercise and, and kind of see if, again, if it's a good one that we should be doing on a regular basis or there's a better choice. So we're going to look at a V-sit. A lot of people have these in their core training routine. So a, a basic V-sit is I try and sit up tall, I lean back to put tension on the trunk, and then a lot of people will progress by lifting the feet, and then a lot of times we'll take like a med ball or a kettlebell, and we'll add this rotational twist to try and get the obliques and all that other stuff there. The challenge becomes with this is if our positioning's off, we can put a lot of damage and stress on areas we don't want it. So stand on up real quick, I'll show you what I mean. So when we're in that flexed position in the hips, we're putting a lot of tension on our hip flexors, especially our deep ones. Our hip flexors attach to the spine. So imagine this is the front part of your spine. When I tension, it pulls. So we could potentially be pulling the spine forward, which means I have to work really hard to keep the trunk engaged to keep that spine vertical. And if I don't, then I end up uh, wrenching the back. So positioning is super important on this one. So I want you to try something for me. Stand kind of right here, just so the, the, the fine viewers at home can see you. Now from here, we're going to set just a good neutral spine. So kind of think about squeezing your butt a little bit, close your ribs, brace your trunk down a little bit. Now maintaining that position, just give me some light twisting. How's that feel? Not bad. Feels good, mm -hmm. right? And you notice that most of her rib cage is doing the twisting. That's really good, mm -hmm. right? Your low back's protected, everything's set, and the rib cage is doing most of the twisting. Now what I want you to do, kind of like half twerk just a little bit, and then open the ribs, and now twist. How's that feel? Not good. I not so good. Back. So we're turned off in the bum, we're turned off in the trunk, so now all that's twisting is that lumbar spine. Now there's another way that this can default. So even if you can keep some tension in your butt, if we're over forward in that hunch posture, now twist for me. Oh, I heard that one. That's poppy. Yeah. So same thing, we're getting a lot of that in that lumbar because we're in that flex position. So in this position, it's hard for the rib cage to rotate. So if I'm that person that has position faults, if I'm open in the ribs in that V-sit, so if, if we go back down to the ground here, so now let's look at that again from this position. So if I'm, go ahead and lean back, find that filling out, so nice and tight. Could you take a punch in the stomach? Yes. Perfect. Now from there, how's your back feel? Feels good. Feels good. Mm -hmm. Now just give me small twist, but keep that tension. How's that feel? Good. Pretty good. Now, open up the ribs. Can you take a punch? No? No. Now twist. How's that feel? Yeah, no, yeah. not too good. Hunch forward, twist. No, I'm it's not working my abs at all. So this is a really, really hard exercise because again, it's a very advanced level progression because we have that tension on the hip flexors. We have to really engage the trunk. The second we start to lose that, all we're doing is torquing in our lumbar. So unfortunately, a lot of people have a really hard time with this one because the positioning is so difficult. So what I want to go over real quick is another alternative that's going to kind of start to work on the same things where we can eventually progress up to that. So come to this half kneeling position for me. And this is going to look simple, but it can be really challenging. So I'm going to go into this half kneeling position. I want this front leg to be soft. So a lot of your weight's on this side. Now just like we talked about before, kind of level the pelvis, close the ribs down, embrace the trunk like you're about to get tickled. Now from here, you're going to grab the ball, keeping the elbows tucked in, and all I want you to do is extend it out, squeeze the ball like you're trying to pop it, and then brace down really tight like someone's going to come punch you. Good. And then kind of turn these arms down a little bit. Now squeeze. Try and pop it. Pop it. Pop it. And brace. 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 brace and relax. You're shaking. Yeah. That's not easy, is no. it? No. So that's the trick, is can we really work on uh, locking in this position, creating some stability? You'll notice we still have one hip in flexion. Yep. So we're working on similar things like we would for the V-sit. We'd work on both legs, and then eventually, when I can really lock down this position, we can maybe get up to the V-sit, but for most people, I would stay away from the twisting to start off with. It's a really advanced level progression, and something we want to take our time to work up to. Perfect. All right. Well, thanks so much, Casey, for showing us today. Um, I guess I didn't know this. I'm sure a bunch of other people didn't know as well how to do the proper way to do the ab workouts. Thanks so much. Thanks,